Right, should we have a look at some U series? It's the utility iron from Titleist. Uh, we've got a 510 and a 500. I'm going to hit them here with the launch monitor on, show you some numbers and my initial thoughts of these. Pretty chunky irons. Graham, what have we got there then? So we've got 510 and 500. I'm presuming one is bigger than the other. That's right. The 500 is a slightly smaller version, a little bit less offset, a little bit lower ball flight. The 510 slightly larger, a little bit more offset, wider sole, a little bit of a higher ball flight. Okay, and then what numbers are we going? Like what lost? Because I'm thinking I want a six iron in one of those, mm -hmm. but you're telling me I'm not allowed that. Well, at the moment in the 500, we've got a two iron, three iron, four iron, and in the 510, we've got the two, three, and four as well. But we've also got the addition of a one iron. <laughs> so the U500 to start, this is the smaller of the two irons, so the thinner sole, slightly thinner top line. So what lost on this three iron? 20. 20. So it's next to no offset on that, isn't there? Looks good. Like that is. Uh... So you see a little bit of the club out the back, and there's next to no offset. So as a chunky, but not as chunky as the other one iron goes, like that's quite neat. And for me, in this length of club, so this loft, this is kind of something I would never personally gain. This is something Matt would look down at a bit more. Someone who uses long irons and like the look at that, because I want it to be going more into hybrids at this stage. Oh, here we go. Low cuts. You ready for these, Graham? <laughs> Hit that one a little bit toey, it went a little bit left, and we also had a little clean up as well, you spot the difference. <laughs> Again, for me, it's quite a flat flight, it's kind of what you'd expect from this iron. If you wanted to keep the ball down a bit, this is what this is going to do. If you want it to kind of drill out there forward and not lift up, so I kind of, everything the opposite of what I want my hybrids to do. See, that's an interesting one, so that's quite a thin strike. So out of those three, that's the worst strike. It'd be interesting to see what the difference is. Much difference between those three? A little bit of loss of ball speed in the one you hit last. It was a little bit low in the face, so a little bit lower flying. So what's the carries on the three? So ball speed, one, two, eight, one, three, four, one, three, one. So one, two, eight, I imagine being the last one. That was, yeah. Spin jump to four, seven, so four thousand and four, one. Yeah. Uh, and then 198, 198, and then 187. Which is kind of, that club would be where my power hybrid is. My power hybrid is an 18 degree loft, yeah. and this was what loft on this? 20. 20, uh, but then obviously it's not gonna get up as high. It's a little bit flatter flying than your current hybrid, yeah. So I'm not gonna hold greens, but I'm gonna run onto things quite successfully. Yeah, so you want to land it short and run it out a little bit, or maybe use it more as a tee club. But then if I have more speed, Yeah. So where I don't excel is in the club head speed, so around 90 mile an hour with this club, obviously if you raise that up, launches, peak heights will go up, and yep. that's then where maybe people don't want the hybrid, yep. where it suits me, but might not suit the next Gives a bit more versatility if maybe you feel your hybrid gets up in there really well, but you find it harder to bring the flight down, mm. that potentially be an option. So you can see the sole difference, so I'm gonna hit the 510 now. This is much more where I would be going. More offset. Mm. A little bit more offset in the 510, yeah. And you definitely start seeing the back out of the back of the club. So this really starts getting chunky. This really starts bridging the gap between hybrid and long line. Like the blend between this to a hybrid, I can totally see. The problem for me is I stop my irons really at five irons, so the blend doesn't quite work for me. But uh, for anyone going five iron, four irons, three irons, swapping them out for these might be an option. Yeah, I mean, look at that, so much higher. I say that, what, how much higher is the peak height to that to the others? I'd love to know, because that to me instantly looks higher. But I often wonder how much of that is me just looking at the chunky thing and thinking, oh look, it's gonna go higher. Peak height wise? So peak height wise, your highest one with 500 was 77 feet, but averaging 72, that was 84 feet peak height. So it was higher? Yeah, it launched a good two and a half degrees higher. Did it spin yeah. less, the same? Spin a fraction less. What Ball speed, at? very similar. So you were 3897 with that one there. Mm, you were 4000 with probably a better struck shot with a 500. So, and it's going 199. So in effect I'm getting, they're both the same club, but one's just going up a little higher. Different trajectory. Yeah. So you're getting a little bit higher launch, you're getting a little bit more carry out of it. But yeah. also slightly steeper landing angle as well. So well not more carry, is it? 199.8. I was 198 and 198. Yeah, so slightly longer through there. Mm -hmm. Minimal. God. Come on, bro. Like that is Sklaff Central. 
You can't scrap it better than that. Bet that won't be far off a similar shot, isn't it? A little bit short of carry 191. You only lost eight yards of carry. What was the predicted rollout compared to the others? 214 versus 260. <laughs> it's a slightly tingier sound, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit higher pitch. Good there. Yeah, look at it popping up. I mean, it's. It would be virgin on an option for me, this one, if I wasn't so happy with my hybrids. So what difference are we seeing in those two? Mainly launch and peak height. So ball speeds are quite similar based on the strikes that you had. So fastest ball speed with the 510 was 135. You're 134 with the 500. Yeah. But launch consistently higher. So with the what's 510. the average launch? 10 to 12? Yeah, 10.6 so to 12.6. A good two degrees higher. Yeah. Higher launch, peak height, up by about nine feet overall. Yeah, which then, for me would make a massive difference because as soon as you get me down in these lofts, yeah. I'm losing height. Yeah. So anything that gives me height back, I'm happy peak with height and, and landing angle to the hybrid more. Yeah, so even though even with the one in there that you felt you sclaffed at 128 ball speed, you still carried that 191. Yeah. So distance control and carry between the longest yep. and the shortest. Not bad. How much lower did yards. that go? 68 feet versus 84, 88 yeah. and 82. Yeah. So a little bit lower flying. It's a good scrap, right. isn't it? Yeah, really good. Really good. I'm good at them. <laughs> Built my whole amateur career around playing scraps like that. Good misses. <laughs> I'll hold a 30 foot putt, birdie you say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's it's quite obvious that you've got two launch models there in those two clubs, yeah. isn't it? I mean, it's so easy to see. I mean, you can see them almost as you pick them up. The yeah. perception is that one's gonna pop up that much higher than the other <laughs> straight away. Post comments down below, let me know if this is the kind of iron you game or not. What I've seen from this iron is basically, like I said in the video, you've got very two distinct launch characteristics. The other thing I noticed when I was at the Scottish uh, last week, so the Scottish Open, that all the tour players were putting it in where when it came to iron testing, so their sets, they were a lot more fiddly and some loved it, some didn't like the look, wanted to change those kind of things. But when it came to the U irons, they either wanted the higher launching one or the lower launching one, and the TMBs went out and they went straight in. And it's that part of the bag, isn't it, where we're all just looking for as much help as we can get in our feels in what we want a club to do. Let me know. As always, if this is a club you will try or not, post comments down below. Look forward to hearing what you've got to say. And remember, if you don't subscribe to the channel already, hit the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, remember to hit that bell icon. It'll just make sure you get the notifications every time I post a video. Thanks for watching. See you all soon.